name is Sebastian Utbult. And my name is uh, Ulle Nyman. And we just uh, finished the LARP Terra Incognita, uh, which is a Lovecraft LARP, a horror LARP, set in 1920s in Sweden. Um, why did we do this, Ulle? Well, it's an interesting area and uh, we like uh, cautionary tales of uh, horror and suspense and uh, disbelief. Um, the LARP was about an expedition to northern Sweden in uh, 1922, uh, looking for a missing uh, professor from Uppsala University. A, a, a missing doctor, a doctor. Clift, yeah, exactly. An anthropologist from Uppsala University that went missing uh, late uh, 1921. And uh, when they got there, um, when they got here, they found um, Dr. Clift was missing, um, lots of very strange things going on in this uh, more or less abandoned village, uh, except for a few villagers that seemed uh, into the occult and very weird. Um, and possibly inbred. Yes. Uh, this was, uh, this LARP was set up two times. Um, the first expedition, um, didn't go so well. <laughs> this expedition went better uh, because they sacrificed one of them, uh, one of their own, uh, to uh, sort of stave off the evil spirits of the forest. So uh, this expedition probably survived. I would say the first expedition went away with the clean consciences, yes. and the second expedition might have survived, but with a bit darker and blacker soul. I played the photographer called Dalian. Uh, I used two cameras for this uh, for this game. Uh, the first one is a is a genuine old camera. It's from 1929, I think, uh, and it has uh, analog film in it. It's a middle format camera, it, uh, but since it's kind of difficult to. Uh, develop and make sure that the pictures are all right. We also used a digital camera built into uh, an old camera. I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> and the batteries are dying. <laughs> but it, it worked really well to have two cameras actually. I played Stigberg who was a good friend of the expedition leader, and I got sacrificed, and it was really cold. I played uh, Dejar in this LARP, and uh, he was a folklorist, uh, or acting as a folklorist, but uh, also a magician, and uh, I really liked uh, Terra Incognita. Um, it was uh, very much like, uh, like a Lovecraft uh, short story in, in the setting, in the feeling. Uh, um, and uh, it uh, went really well with the, all the occult stuff that I was supposed to do. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm uh, very exhausted but uh, very happy. I played uh, Dahlberg, the student, uh, and I was terrified most of the time. I uh, thought it was quite spectacular. Great effects and uh, I think I'm still scared actually. We built this uh, sound box to simulate a uh, dark young, uh, that's a monster from the Lovecraft mythos, uh, which actually went pretty good. <laughs> uh, I think the players got really scared when they heard this in the middle of the night. Uh, also, this was a LARP there where we, um, we like the old feeling from old role-playing games where you get handouts, papers, n notebooks, letters and that kind of thing. So we had a few of those and uh, it's very time consuming to write an entire diary, but uh, it's worth it. It's, uh, really, it really creates uh, atmosphere and we like that. Terra Incognita used uh, Schebner or Fate Play, um, pre-scripted reactions for the players to um, um, use as they see fit when, uh, when, they, when it suits the game. Um, each player got one of these um, with a couple of between two and five uh, fates each. 
After the game, all the players received uh, this uh, handout in two different versions, depending on how uh, the expedition went. It's a newspaper article um, that either describes an expedition that's been um, uh, completely lost, um, people have died, or it's um, a newspaper article about an expedition that has returned to Stockholm, but uh, some of the people have been uh, put into asylums for uh, nervous breakdowns. I played the big game hunter Munte on this terrible, uh, maddening LARP, uh, Terra Incognita. And um, we had uh, tons of terrifying and maddening experiences this evening, and last night. Um, we had a mad scientist following us around in the woods, and uh, terrible monsters howling, banging on the doors. But we made a blood sacrifice, so fortunately, we, I think we made it. But uh, there was a lot of close calls and some really terrible things, like this mask. I play the missing Dr. Walter Klüft uh, on this LARP. And uh, I was sort of a functionary, and I loved it. It was awesome to do a, uh, a real... Uh, down-to-earth Lovecraftian LARP here in Sweden, uh, which isn't all that common, although it has happened throughout the years. So, thumbs up. I played the engineer Tunnel. Uh, it was a very nice experience. It's um, very suggestive, and it's not this... Um, my opinion about LARP changed a bit again since I played last time, and it's been... Uh, very nice setting and a lot of really nice players without being too overplayed and uh, I would definitely say it was uh, one of the best LARPs I've been to.